welcome, welcome. Live episode 81. Hello. Hello, Cup Gods. Good, never, not much trying to cable my setup at the moment. Cable setup, what your experts and stuffies. Doing good, Cup Gods. I'm uh, back with yet another live cool show. Okay. What kind of setup are you talking about, uh, Cupcut? What uh, what do you mean? Oh, it's kind of light. There are so many cables just thrown. Oh, you know what I always do? I take these tie rips, you know, tie rips, and you just make a box out of all the cables. You could do that. I don't know if you got the. Uh, Okay, uh, like those tie rip cables laying around. That's what I do with the cable, especially when you have mentioned like all these cables laying around and they kind of get kind of stuck in each other. And that's like something you could do. Just make a bundle out of it, you know. I was looking at cable rays and zip ties. Yeah, that's. I think zip ties are the same. Like we call it tie rip. Maybe zip ties are like the same. Like they're basically indestructible. Yeah, you could go for that. They're not expensive either, you know. Just buy a couple and you're good to go. Alright, live cooking. So it's 81, top cut. We're gonna make broccoli pesto soup. Healthy. And some stuff. Uh, I had bubblegum block the other day over at Fractured Stream talking about tortas, which are basically grilled sandwiches. Um, I'm going to try and kind of do the same, I guess, but with my own twist. Uh, that's why I'm not going to call them tortas, I'm just going to call them I think I already made these sandwiches once on stream. I think it was with like a soup I believe not sure because uh, 81 episodes sometimes I just forget what I already did um, yeah you can see the ingredients over here on the uh, on the right of the overlay uh, let's have a look let's have a look let's uh, switch this camera around there you go so for the soup, no wait, let's start off with sandwiches. So the Italian bread buns over here. And we're going to take out the filling of those breads. And then we're going to fill them with mozzarella, tomato, and salami. And we're also going to add a little bit of to that. We're going to make the pesto ourselves. Uh, let's see. The pro... Uh, the problem is I have a wheel and the pedals have two cables going to them on the desk. Then I have the boombox for my speaker, which has four cables. Then all my power blocks, power leads, charges, and USB stuff. So we're going to need a lot of ties. That's a lot of cables, Kapka. <laughs> That's a whole lot of cables. Shit. Well, you'll manage to make it. Just get the same ties and then make out of it. Maybe you have to make different bundles considering the amount of hardware you got there that's quite a lot four cables for just a boombox uh, for the soup guys we need broccoli of course and some cream and we need chicken stock flavoring water of course uh, then we're gonna make these cheese croutons with some slices of water bread, some cheese rasp, and some uh, cow or bell pepper powder uh, that's gonna be laying on top of the soup. Delicious. And for the pesto, usually you make pesto with nuts. Um, I'm gonna make a version without nuts. Oh, just the basil, cheese, garlic, and olive oil. Uh, 
decent job yesterday. It took three hours. Holy shit. That much time needed? Wow. Food sounds good. I have this pesto mayo in my fridge. Pesto mayo? That sounds delicious. I bet that's really good on a sandwich or something. But that's probably with like pine nuts or cat nuts in the pesto, which is usually the case when you make pesto. I'm gonna do it without the nuts. It's pretty good. That sounds good. Never thought about mixing pesto with mayonnaise before, but it sounds like something that could really work. Uh, speaking of the pesto, start off with that. And I'm also going to start boiling a pan of water for the soup. About a half a liter there. A little bit more for, to boil the broccoli in first. So I'm going to put that on a fire cam. Just for now. Start boiling the water. Alright, pesto. I need my blender. Gas blender. There it is. I got my garlic over here. Let me expand my chat real quick. You can buy a rack. You put under a desk and chuck all the cables on there. Oh yeah. You can also make like a little box or something to uh, cables in and all the all the adapters. In goes the garlic. And I need some olive oil. Well, that's not a lot of olive oil left. I have to do the rest with some uh, sunflower oil, there, unfortunately. I thought I had more olive oil. Like that. I got the right here. Best looking basil, if you ask me. I think it got like wet or something inside the fridge. Just gonna take out all the good leaves and throw the rest away. Alright, there you go. Oh, that's a dirty one. I made this bacon and tosti the other day. Oh shit, that sounds good. Tosties in general. Hmm, lovely. Also, oh shit. <coughs> Gonna add the cheese rasp. Not all of it, because we need to save some for the couteau. Like that. I like to put a bit of mustard on the bacon. Ooh. What kind of mustard? You got different kinds. Lots of different kinds of mustard. Well, um, it has to be crunchy. Really crunchy. Otherwise, I won't eat it. I'm not a, a pork meat eater in general, cup God. The only pork I eat is bacon every now and then, but it needs to be really like well baked and crispy. Um, so let's uh, mix that up. There you go. I have to help it out a bit because there's not a lot of stuff in there. So 
makes it harder for the blender to do its job. It's easier when it's all full, you know? What's up, Dubbing? Dubbing doesn't even say hi first. He's like straight after the fight. Dubbing. Still number one, Dubbing. French mustard. French mustard is too strong. I never had the English one, I think. The French, that's usually the one that we eat over here. That or like uh, Dijon, you know, the one with the little mustard seeds in it. Very good. I think to add a little bit of oil there. Let's see. No, we're good. Been here since the start. Well, I didn't know that, Dobby. The English one is very overpowering and really strong. I guess maybe you should use the English one more for uh, like where you have it as ingredient in something else, like a drink or a grenade, but not like so just the mustard, you know. Whole grain? What, what are you talking about? You mean the Dijon mustard? I think you you mean that. So I'm gonna grab a little bowl to put the pesto. There you go. Let's uh, switch back the camera real quick to my cutting board. So I'm not going to bother cleaning the blender. I got to it again to blend the broccoli later when I cooked it. But it's all right if there's still some overs of the pesto in there. That extra flavor to the to. The... I do have to add some pepper and salt to this though first. Pesto is not quite there yet. There you go. Put the blender back on the machine real quick. Get that back to the blender later. Some pepper. And mostly salt. I think I'm gonna go regular salt, yeah. Which is empty. Hello? Damn. Yunusko! Hello, hello! Yunusko! Let's see. Oh yeah, I added the new chicken arc dubbing. Let's see. Hints to for the hidden work to unlock the chicken arc. It's quite violent and it's best you don't get near it. Shit. Are you doing evening stream? Yes, I am, Cop God. Starting at 9 p.m. Central Europe time, that's 8 p.m. for you, Cup God. I'll be doing Hunt Showdown with Janusko. Right, since we don't have the regular table salt, I'm just gonna use some sea salt. Maybe even more delicious too, anyway. War, lightning. Let's mix that up. I 
You see, I added a little bit too much oil there. All right, so pesto. Ooh. You don't even need the, uh, the nuts, man, for that. Without the nuts, it's also really delicious. Yunusko, sit now. How are you doing? Yunusko, light up cigars and zombies. All right, broccoli time. Because the water is only starting to boil. So, uh, a couple of days ago, I also ate broccoli. I still have like the part of it. Use that as well. And knife. <coughs> I'm doing Nusco. I was watching. And all of a sudden, you guys were gone. But I didn't catch. Like, oh, we're gonna end stream now. I didn't catch that. Yeah, tonight, Yunusko and me are gonna play down. And I'm, I feel like I'm gonna stream that again. So, tonight, I'll be back with another stream. On showdown, me and Yunusko are going to our John Wicking again, as Fractured would say. Uh, it also means that after this cooking show, I won't be raiding anybody. So I'll be back later, and in case the person I rate is still like streaming, like you got life again, and then the and the viewers they gotten will go to me again. And I don't know, I just don't like doing that. Oh, dat ging niet. Oh, oké, okay, check. Oh, dat had ik niet gekregen. Ik was even een peukje roken en toen kwam ik terug en toen was het opeens offline. Toch? Huh? So usually you, you won't eat part of the broccoli, but for the soup you do, you know? You can just eat it. Also, my oven preheated right at 200 degrees that for the crouton is crouton and for stuffed bread of course oh, man, man, man aka mr rocket man morning to you sir i guess it's more here at your place or maybe just start up the afternoon Mr. Rocket Man. <clears throat> Let's see. So the water over here. What's up, Sandman? Man? How are you doing? The water over here has to boil. So I'm gonna add the broccoli, and we're gonna boil that for about five minutes. We're gonna put it in the blender. And then we're gonna put it back in the water. And I've quite a lot of broccoli, so I'm expecting that I won't be having to use any binder for the soup. Like the soup will be thick, you know? 8.21 a.m. Oh, shit, it's really early. You're at work. Eating by breakfast? What's for breakfast? Sandman. What are you having for breakfast? Dubbing will be right back. Look at my new haircut, Sandman. You like it? Like, I used to have it all the way to here. My hair. I was like uh, an African lion or with all the hair. Almost like murder. <laughs> Dubbing will be right Sometimes chicken got laying egg real quick. I hope it's gonna be a big fatty dubbing. Big fatty. Some scrambled eggs with bacon and a coffee to go. Ooh, how do you drink your coffee, Sentman? 
like black or maybe with some milk, sugar, or like the fancy ones like macchiato or cappuccino. How, how one person drinks his coffee or her coffee says a lot about the person, I think. Like if you go like uh, oh, soya milk and uh, like those free stuff, you're like, she, get out of here, get out of here. Me personally, I like like a cafe like every now and then, but like nine out of ten times, I just go black, you know, with some milk, like foam, or just milk in the like that. Right. I'm gonna flip the camera again. I just had to show my face to Sandman for a second there. Luckily, so it's boiling. So in the meantime gonna chop up stuff for the bread for the filled bread so I need a bowl there you go I got the mozzarella over here last time I used mozzarella I had like the really fancy this is just like a explanation mark fake kind of cheese but I know for a fact this one is quite delicious because you kind of want to be like almost like a, like a gum, you know, and it's really good for what it costs. It's gonna slice it in little chunks. Oh, guys, for those who are sub, uh, last week, um, thanks to all. I received lately all the gifted subs I managed to unlock a new emote slot so I've added a new emote to the chat for those who are uh, sub to the channel now we got the dice please emote. you can uh, use that in chat whenever something bull is going down in, in battlefield there you go that's it sent man that's the one um, yeah, and I still have to think about what I should get when I reach another milestone with the gifted subs. We'll see. But right now, yeah, the dice please note. You can use it. You know, a lot of shit happens in the field sometimes. So whenever you feel like it and you want to express your belief, you can use it. Dice please. So I'm me? <laughs> well, it's actually, <laughs> it is actually chill. like the dice, uh, the font of the letter. <laughs> so, one percent or something, or oh, like, like absolutely not enough milk, just a little bit. So, you could say it's more closely being black coffee than coffee with milk. So you got a long day ahead of you today, Mr. Sandman. I guess your your just started. I got mozzarella, salami, red. Let's hope. Let's add some tomatoes to that as well. Nice little mix. My shift, to be honest, only an in. Oh, and you're already on break? Damn, why can I apply for that job? Like, you start your shift, and one hour later, you already have your break. Shit. Tomatoes go in, like that. Let me clean my board. Quite juicy tomatoes, a lot of liquid stuff on the cutting board right now. Una momento favore. So, I have pesto here. Since it's got a lot of 
oil. I added a little bit too much oil there. I'm going to kind of try and scoop oil out and add that to our mix. There you go. All right, the rest will be the soup. We need to mix this up. Also, I got some parsley over here. Just add a little bit of that. The rest will be for garnish. Weekends are a bit more chill in my department. We not so much. All right, all right, so also get the double amount of uh, salary in the weekend like over here like a, a law where professions or job the uh, the one who pays like the one who has the company or the business has to pay their employees double when they're working on Sunday. maybe that doesn't count for you being in the army like that uh navy i believe i'm sorry no, that's sensitive if you say that wrong for those in the army and the navy. We got a nice little bread mix. We're gonna stuff them in a bit there, but we have to get back to the soup. Let's see, I need to check the camera angle here. Give me a second. See, we got coffees going on here. Maybe I can put a little bit closer. Yes, perfect. So I'm gonna start the broccoli. First let me how far along it went. Oh, it needs a little bit more cooking time to wait for a second. So yeah, Yunusko, I don't know if Yunusko is still here. Tonight, Yunusko, we're going to do our junk stuff again. Uh, this time I'll I'll be streaming it. Uh, I think the more you stream that game, the more, like we're talking about Han Show, for those who don't know, the more you stream it, the more you become at it. It's not like any game uh, stream, you know, it's like a... It's it's hard to stream to say the least. Kind of maybe just like Rainbow Six Siege, uh, which is once the round started, you have to be focused on the sound, what's going on in the game. So a little bit harder for you to react at the same time. Hunt Showdown is worse than that, you know. But I'm gonna try it again tonight. Weekend shifts for my hospital count uh, one and a half day. Okay, so you do get paid more. Nice, nice. Yeah, otherwise I had to go to your place and talk to your boss. Shit. You're, you're, you're paying Sandman the same amount like on a regular day. How do you do this? This is unacceptable. So, let's put the broccoli into the blender there you go and I also let me see a bit of the water as well so it makes it easier for the blender to mix it up. There you go. If you make this yourself, it's all right if there's like little pieces in water, you know? It's all right. Kind of see like oh yeah there's broccoli in there instead of it ju just being big mass of stuffies let's mix that up 
Some person, what's up? How you doing? Thanks you for tuning in. Positive vibes indeed. Uh, in the meantime, I still have the water, like the stock, or how we say bouillon, like French. I think uh, in English, uh, you guys just stock, like stock or whatever. So, right there, let's add some real chicken. I got like the little cube over here. I can hear a chicken sound. What's going on? Nice. Hey, what's up? Appreciate the follow. Welcome to the chicken farm. Appreciate that. How are you? Over here at the chicken farm, we do shows and field streams. I appreciate that follow. Right now, we're doing a cooking show. It's usually like one or two times a week, I do cooking shows, and the rest are maybe Battlefield 5 streams. So, I've added the chicken stock, also some cream over here, I'm gonna shake it a little bit. I'm not gonna add the whole bottle, because I want to save a little bit of the cream for later. So you can like these cream lines on top of your soup to make it look more fancy. So I'm saving a little bit of that that up all right now I think this is blended enough Let's see yes beautiful healthy too guys let's add that back to the pan along with the chicken and the cream. It's kind of splashy right now. There you go. Let's have a closer look for you guys. Like I still have to work my camera angles a lot. That's why I moved the camera around much. So, at first I said uh, I don't need a binder, but now I put every, every, everything back into the pan. I think it's kind of thin. So it's in the ingredients list, the binder. Well, now because I thought that wouldn't be necessary, but look at the soup now and like steaming it, I see it's like still quite liquid. So we need to thicken that up and use some potato binder for that. You can also just, um, hi, this is me, Night Sky. Uh, you can also just use a regular potato, like one potato. You boil that along with the and then put it in the blender and put it back in the pan. That should also give you a binding effect. Mm, also, mm, extra taste, of course, because you're at potato. I don't know if anybody ever had potato soup. That's delicious, especially the potato soup. Oh, lovely. With some lemon grass and coconut milk. Oh, I might have to make that one time for you guys. <coughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Smart, how are you doing? A chef. Yeah. <laughs> let's make one. How are you doing, Spasmacht? Thank you for tuning in. Hey, Spasmacht, we're making broccoli pesto soup. I'm talking to you guys while I clean up a little bit. And then we'll get back to the stuffed bread. Because we still need to fix that. Uh, today, we'll be making broccoli pesto soup, Spasmacht. Uh, along with some stuffed bread. And I made a mix for that. I'll show you. But first, I need to prepare the binder. So, once more guys, let me flip this camera around real quick, so you guys can see my cutting board. There you go. As you can see, for those who aren't here just yet, we made the pesto, 
over here. I got some parsley for garnishing. This is the mix for the bread. This is uh, mozzarella, salami, tomato, and some of the pesto we made. Let me get my binder. Uh, where is it? Here it is. So this is potato binder. And what you have to do with that is like you add the amount you think you need. It's almost like cocaine. You add cold water. As soon as your soup starts boiling or whatever you're preparing, you add. So I'm going to add some cold water to that. There you go. Let me expand my chat again. Yeah, I was talking to my sister about this soup. And obviously, I didn't know that, even though I know my sister for 34 years. Um, when I told her, she was like, ugh, broccoli. I didn't know she didn't like broccoli. Like, what the hell is wrong with you, sister? How can you not like broccoli? It's healthy and delicious. But maybe if she would eat the soup, it's all right. I don't know. So once the soup starts boiling again, because right now it's below cooking point, I'll have to add this to it. And then the soup will become a little bit more thicker than it is now. It's really, really liquid. So I have to wait. So in the meantime, we're going to prepare the stuff. So I got some Italian bread buns over here. I don't know how it's it's being called abroad in in the States or England or wherever you are in this world. We say Italians Italians bolle, which literally translates to Italian bun. Broccoli is hit or miss with me. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's gross. I agree on that. Um, if somebody is prepared for you and they overcook it, where it becomes kind of like boggers. <laughs> no, I won't eat it. It has to be like boiled really shortly, like five minutes or so. What's up, Master Noob? Uh, Master Noob. Yeah, Master Noob. I wanted to say Master Soup. <laughs> I eat broccoli every day for breakfast. Every day? It must be like really healthy and strong. What's up, Chris? Raw? I never ate it raw before. So I'm taking off the top of the bun. We're not gonna use that. And I'm gonna take out the stuff on the inside. Like that. Oh no, it's broken. Fuck. Okay, one of the buns is kind of already deceased right now. I have to be more gentle with the other one. Because look, I broke it. No. How are you doing, Cliff? Good morning to you as well. Well, leader of coffee. Two joints and then broccoli soup. So broccoli soup is kind of your... You buy like the pre-made ones. Or do you make it yourself, Master Noob? I'm doing good, Master Noob. Hope you're great as well. So Master Noob is kind of the broccoli soup expert over here. I have to try that out. Cause I never, never ate broccoli raw eat it in a salad or something how do you besides having it raw how do you eat it what goes along with it roasted or steamed yeah steamed is really nice what's up wheat man how you, sir oh you make it the day before nice nice not a big fan of raw no ah oh. So we took out the inner, I need a baking plate from the oven, 
real quick in a baking paper. Momento por favor, guys. Let me take this away for a second. Yeah, Rob, you can just dip it in some Caesar or ranch dressing or something. I don't care. Most veggie, for most veggie being cooked, I always prefer them raw. I, I do agree on that, like most vegetables, because some you still, you have to cook them, you know, or do something at least with them. You can't eat them raw. But most, most vegetables are most delicious when raw. Like uh, bell pepper, for example. I, I prefer eating that raw instead of baked. Nice and crispy. Clips likes it raw. Note it. <laughs> so, I got my red buns. I got my filling. Just straight up, easy. Just some tomato, mozzarella, salami. So, with this one I have to be very careful since I broke the whole goddamn bread bun. See, it's already falling apart. But you want as many in there as possible, so squeeze it all the way down as much as you can. Oh, this poor bit. I think I'm gonna give this one to my girlfriend. <laughs> I'll take the one who's still intact. I'm going to have to try that, though, the raw broccoli. I never had it like that. I think if you eat it raw, too, vegetables, you, you like kind of save the most vitamins possible. Because if you cook vegetables, it kind of takes away the, the, the vitamins, you know? Uh, over here in the Netherlands, uh, most people kind of got a bad habit of cooking the living shit out of vegetables. Like... Let's say 80% of all the vegetables only need like uh, 5 to 6 minutes cooking time. So you still have to bite. But over here, people kind of have a bad habit of like boiling it for at least 15 minutes. Like my mother-in-law, for example. I made a dish once with uh, sugar snaps. And I don't even boil sugar snaps. I just go straight into the stir-frying pan, you know? Just stir-fry them briefly. And she thought it so delicious, and she asked, like, oh, can you give me the recipe? I'm going to make it for myself at home someday. So I did that. And then a couple of weeks later, she was like, oh, yeah, I, I made that recipe of yours with the sugar snaps. It was delicious. But I did boil the sugar snaps. And I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? How, how long did you boil them? Yeah, about 15 minutes. Like, how can that be delicious? All the vitamins go to waste. Shit. See, I am missing some stuff in chat. You have my heart in your pocket. Uh, doesn't he? He must have very big pockets then, because I think there are more people's hearts in there than just yours, weak man. But steaming vegetables, though, that's the best. I agree on that. So I do have some of the mix left now. I can't fit it all in there. That's what uh, she said. I'm going to put these in the oven for about eight minutes or so. I think they already look delicious. The leftover of the filling, I'm just going to make a little salad out of that. Because I think I got some lettuce left over here. Yes, perfect. And got some mixed lettuce. Just let's make a salad out of that. Don't throw it away, you know. You can make a little salad. We're just gonna have a little salad along with our soup. I also have this one. I don't know how it's called in English. This type of salad. Let's add that as well. There you go. Why would it? Why would you throw it away, right? Let's mix that up. Sell it on the side. We don't need to make dressing for that because, look, we still have the pesto we made. We're just going to use that as a dressing. There you 
go. Nice side salad along with the soup and the bread. Let's see if maybe I got more stuffies I can put in there. Lindsay, hello. How are you doing? Let's see. Do I have more ingredients? Yes. This is like improvising, guys. Just improvising. I got more ingredients for that salad. I'll show you. Hold on. It's going to be kind of like a, a cheese salad, if you will. Because I still have some port salute over here. And I also got the blue cheese, but I'm not going to add that. Just the port salute. That's like a really soft type of cheese. Improvising cooking over here. Nice little chunkies. Doing well, glad to hear that. Happy Sunday to you, Lindsay. We got a whole bunch of guys right now from uh, from Canada. Let's go, Canada in the house representing. I need a fancy bowl for my salad. Let's see. I'll take this one. So, we got our improvised salad here. You know what would have been perfect right now for this salad? Some pine nuts, but I don't have them right now. There we go. Cheese, maybe some garnishing with the parsley. There you go, improvised salad. See how quick I did that? Port Salut is your favorite? Oh man, I, I, it's not necessarily my my favorite type of cheese. But in my opinion, if you have like a uh, cheese platter, you know, some toast with cheese like brie, and that, there has to be Port Salut along with it. There just has to be. Salad, parsley, pesto. We're getting closer here. We still need to uh, finish up that soup. Let's uh, switch the camera here. I need to have a look uh, myself. Let's get closer to the soup. There it is. Boiling. Crazy. So right now I'm going to add that potato binder to it. Let me lower the fire. There you go. And mix that up. If you add it and you're like, hmm, it's still too thin, I want it thicker, you can just add more. But you have to wait a couple of seconds. It's not like instantly thick, you know. Does smell really good, the broccoli soup, I must say. We're gonna have a taste in a bit. No, it's, it's, it's good right now. I'm not gonna add more binder to it. Lovely. Look at my handsome haircut, guys. Hi, Lindsay. Look at me. Oh shit, let me clean up real quick, because we're about to get finished here. How long have I been live? Like an hour or so? Not even an hour. So minus, imagine you won't be streaming this and you're just cooking at home. You can, if you got a blender, you can uh, make this recipe quite fast. Movie star, oh shit. Like I was telling Murda today, Sandman, 
since he got rid of his uh, his hair recently, and he was like a fucking caveman with that hair. Um, so I told him like, oh, I also got a haircut, and he was playing with Chief, and they're like, yeah, oh, post this, post the. Uh. No, they didn't ask for it. I, at one point, I just said, you know what, I'm I'll post a selfie in Discord for you guys, so you guys can see the new haircut, and. And after that, I kind of regretted that decision because Murder kept bringing it up in the overlay. He kept showing it on stream. <laughs> I waited the longest time for this haircut, guys, because, you know, Corona waiting list. Uh, you seen that bread? They hollows out the bread to pour thick soup in it. Oh, but that. Um, Snoop, the bread has to be really, uh, how do you say that? It moet wel stevig zijn, anders loopt het soep eruit. It has to be firm bread, otherwise the soup will spoil out, you know? Wheat Pan is going to get a new haircut too. Nice. Lindsay also needs a new haircut. Really? Because I saw you the other day, it looked perfectly fine, Lindsay. But I guess anything looks good on you, Lindsay. Shit. Oh, by the way, I almost forgot. We still have to make one thing. The croutons for the soup, guys. So, Sandman has low maintenance, high fate haircut. I don't even know what that means. That's a lot of words for a haircut, Sandman. And Weakman is getting a haircut on Wednesday. Are you gonna... Dye it pink, weed man. <laughs> but yeah, I've got one thing, guys. Let's let's go back to the cutting board real quick, just real quick. Cause we need to make the cheese croton for for the soup, you know. I almost forgot. So I'm gonna do this real easy. I got two slices of bread. I need. The ring, that, see, the ring, I got multiple sizes, this is my largest one. In the meantime, in the background, I can hear my cat outside, meowing. I want to come inside, let, let me in, let me in. My hair is resting on my shoulder as long as it's ever been in your life. Oh, okay, then I can imagine if you're not used to it that's it's too long for you hold on guys i need to open the door for the cat otherwise i might break her for not letting her in yes come meow, meow, meow. all right back to the carton so Got the leftover cheese rasp. There you go. And to give it some extra fancy flavor, I got some smoked bell pepper powder. Uh, you can use whatever you like, like uh, those dried Italian herbs, or maybe just pepper and salt, whatever you like. This is one of my favorite things to use, especially when I make hamburgers. If you add this to the meatloaf, oh man, it will give like a like a smoky flavor to your burger, almost like it's being it was uh, like barbecue grilled on the barbecue, you know. But it wasn't because you just used smoked powder, bell pepper powder, a little bit of pepper. Quickly gonna put those in the oven too, next to the stuffed bread. I have to take it out for a second. So this goes back in. That start the mozzarella starting to melt there. Hmm. So those croutons they only need like two minutes or so. 
it's almost present presentation time over here. One more switch camera around. I still haven't been able to fix the second camera. Like Fractured sent me uh, his old camera all the way from Miami uh, mail, but I still haven't been able to fix it because it needs like an installation stuff and also trying to work my way around how the light stream works, which pr probably don't let me have a second camera. However, I can still add like maybe the second camera into my Xbox. But for that, then I need a long as USB cable to pay that to, to the kitchen, you know. Um, but it will be there. And probably if I add like the second camera, which will be like a face camera, it will be somewhere in the middle the large camera I guess I'll make it work I have to invest time in that so until then I'm switching the camera around a lot I didn't really have to do that in, in my old house because the kitchen is so small I just could use one or two camera angles and it was good to go over here I have to do that the whole time because it's significantly bigger kitchen uh, <laughs> Wheatman is already dreaming about getting a haircut <laughs> uh, I haven't had to cut it it's come back probably needs a tidy ah all right all right my hair is resting on my shoulder as long as I ever been in my life I'm fully vaccinated and after Wednesday it will be two weeks after the second shot okay so you have to get like multiple shots there You will be fully covered. Nice, nice. Yeah, but is it like that vaccine? I wonder, is it lasting forever for the rest of your life? Or do you have to get more in the future because it kind of wears out? I like I got a lot of questions with the vaccines. There probably are answers to it, but at least over here it's already fake shit. Hungry rent some potatoes cochetto in the oven. Ooh, nice. Turkish kebab meat from Turkish market and lettuce. Nice, nice. It's, uh, oh, let's see, Sandman is describing his hair. It's basically no hair on the sides or hair on the top. It's like high and tight. We call that, in the Netherlands, we call that uh, a toki <laughs> capsule. Toki, that's like a, um, um, kind of like a, haircut <laughs> I don't know how to translate it let's see F D D F Y C D F Y C one two three two whoa such an original name I've never seen something so original one to become famous just look at my fucking face don't I look already famous to you <laughs> here yeah no you know we actually got a thing for that explanation mark lane shit I don't have a mask, I think, right now, so you're lucky. I don't think you are even a real person. So why am I even talking to you? Freaking hot. Looks like you boost a shot 12, 18 months after the COVID is still bouncing around the world. Exactly, and also the, the, the virus kind of develops as we go along, you know? So this vaccine might work now, but maybe after the virus has developed into a new stage, it's like the vaccine you had won't be working all that much anymore. Trailer Park Boys, Toki. Yeah, thank you, Master Noob. You got the Trailer Park Boys haircuts. <laughs> uh, Toki, yeah, in Dutch we say Toki. You're a Toki. The more people who don't get the vaccine, the more friends there can be. That's how it works. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, where, I'm still waiting for mine. Like, are, are you live in a certain area or town, and at one point you receive a letter that you have to, like, come, that you can get your vaccine. But they do, like, uh, categor categorized in age. So it starts at high age, vulnerable people, and then they go down, down, down. I'm in my 30, so I still have to wait. I think they're right now they're at the people who are between 60 and 70, so. It's taking a long ass time. We don't even have that many, many citizens in the Netherlands, you know. Thank you, Zippy. Zippy, he was here 
with his boots, his big ass boots, and he booted that bot. Sub Zippy. Doing his Majuru stuffy. Zippy, 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 the chick Majuru. Alright, it's, uh, it's time to uh, finish this, guys, because I got my Easter board right here. Let's have a look at the soup. Lovely. Uh, watch the do Dutch movie New Kids. I know for a fact, Master Noob, I haven't seen that movie. Well, like parts of it, but it's not my type of humor. But I know for a fact that Clips, he watched those movies. And he was telling about it, that how much he loved it. That it was really funny. I uh, got my first last week. My second one, I don't get until August long between both vaccines that's crazy where i live of 40 percent of the population is over 16 is fully vaccinated wow wow which country is that we amazing film don't but didn't you watch it with english like voiceovers or subtitles or something like that all right so it's time to take out all the stuffies, guys. Let's go. Let's have a look at the hipster boards here. We got the hipster board going on. We got the salad. I don't think it will fit on there. First, I'm going to take out the bread buns. Oh, bloody hot, eh? He's doing that with his bare hands, you crazy. Motherfucker. I can take it guys, I can have I can take it. Not the other one though. That one is broken, so I don't want to drop it. I'm just gonna do like that. Come on. I don't want to, I don't want to. You gotta, you gotta. We got the stuffed bread. Oh my god, that looks so good. Smells good too. Shit. Look at that. You kind of have to wait with that too when you eat it. Oh, my on. I need to clean my lens a little bit. Like the mozzarella inside is all melted. Mm. Holy shit. Alright, we're still not there yet because we still have to scoop up the soup. Uh, while we do that, let's read some chat. I believe it was subtitles, but I don't even remember at this point. It was that long ago. I live in Washington State in the US. So with those, with that forty percent, man, do you only refer to Washington State or like the entire country? It's a very liberal area. Most people here like give the vaccine because we can't stay like this forever. Yeah, I would. I hope that my friends kind of step it up too. It's like I said, we don't have that many citizens. It should be done by now. All right, time to scoop the soup. That's one. And the second one is also underway. It is nice, very nice. I like nice healthy soup. Thank you, Sandman. Um, I'm actually 50 miles from New Kids. Oh, like where they supposed to be, be happening. Nice. <laughs> so remember the leftovers of the cream? Like 
that. I was much was from Washington State until work brought me to Utah. You missed the green? Is it like green in Utah too? Or are you referring to something else being green? So, pesto goes in. It's all right if you scoop a little bit of the olive oil there too. It's pretty delicious with the scoop. Okay, my, my mouth is waking, making weird noises right now. And to finish it off, some of the parsley, little garnishing there. And of course, last but not least, here we come. The cheese croton. Food, guys, food. Let's get the close up in. It's like a desk in Utah. Uh, I kind of mix up the the states every now and then, like. With some, I'm certain what kind of area they have, like Montana, for example, that's like forest and kind of like mountains and Nevada's mostly desert and Arizona's kind of dry too. But not all the, with all the states. So we have the improvised Salad there with leftovers. It's kind of like leftover salad, if you will. You have the broccoli soup with pesto and cream and the cheese croton floating there, all set aside in the broccoli soup. And one more time, the stuffed bread with mozzarella, tomato, salami, and more pesto. Very nice. I like. I like. Oh, so, guys, that's it. Let me show my face again real quick. I'm gonna call the missus that dinner is ready. She's upstairs right now. She always runs off upstairs. You know, when I do the cooking show, she's like afraid she be shown on camera. She doesn't like that. You know? So I'm gonna give her a call that dinner is served before it gets too cold. With the bread, you maybe have to wait a little bit until it's cooled down. Don't go eating that straight out of the oven, you know. You'll literally burn your whole mouth. Uh, most hero folks think which state is East Coast, but it's West Coast. Yeah, it's like all the way up north. I know that. They also kind of uh, um, mix it up with Washington, D.C. too. They, think, oh, they hear Washington and they think, oh, they are Washington, D.C. You know, like Washington. Is up, up west of the states, yeah. Fuck, just as I'm back, it's nearly over. Dice, please. Copcot, you know, I'm, I'm not wasting time with the cooking shows. I mean, I'm doing it really fast, you know. Lindsay, hungry now? Yes. Nilt. Yes, that's supposed to happen, Lindsay. <laughs> There are some nice areas in Washington State, I think, especially looking at Mount Rainier in the distance. Oh, shit. It's a beautiful place here. I am spoiled being from here, honestly. The state has everything, too. Western part is rainforest, mountain, volcano. Also, that means you're kind of close to, uh, to Clips, then. Because, you know, Vancouver, really close, across the border. You should visit him sometime. Utah has nice spots too, I think, like near some National Park, maybe. I won't take 
Brabant because I'm gonna eat it right now, Master Noob. It's out of me. Ah, see, see. What's up, Moshi Potatoes? <laughs> I was just about to head out. We're just finished. Look what we made. Potatoes. Moshi Potatoes. Look, we got some broccoli soup. Some stuffed bread. Croissant on top of the soup. We got some pesto in there as well. And we got the improvised salad. But I really have to go now, guys, because we don't want to eat this cold, obviously. Um, thanks everybody for hanging out, means a lot to me, appreciate it, appreciate it. Uh, tonight I'll be back at Hunt Showdown, um, we're gonna, you, me and Yanusko, we're gonna play Hunt Showdown. That's also something we do over here, it's not just cooking shows. We also, uh, I also do like game streams. The cooking show is like one to two times a week and the rest is being filled up with uh, the gaming streams. So depending on what you like to see, tune back in. <laughs> And um, once again, guys, thanks. Thank you so much for hanging out, uh, talking too much. Moisey Potatoes, thank you for following. Sorry, I was just heading out, mentioned, uh, but I do appreciate that follow. I uh, hope to see you back soon. Guys, I'm heading out. Talk to you guys later. Take care, be safe, and most of all, guys, stay chicken. No raid tonight. I'm not going to raid because, yeah, I'll be back later. With the, with the Hunt Showdown stream, I want to uh, give somebody my my uh, viewers with raid to only take away later again. So, stay chicken, guys. Until the next one. Peace.